so I'm up I'm up this morning. I heard some weird things in the hallway. I don't know what it was, but I heard some weird things in our hallway. I don't know if somebody was drunk or somebody was in trouble or what it was, but somebody and you know, I heard some weird things in our hallway that woke me up. Like some people arguing or something or some people being drinking or whatever it was, but uh, I woke up this morning and I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, almost ready to call the cops. It's like, it's already, it was like two o'clock in the morning. I've been up for almost an hour now. It's like 2.45, you know, but I was, it was like two o'clock in the morning and somebody was like, you know, almost sounding like they were drunk and really loud in the hallway where you almost want to like call the cops and have the cops come and be like, uh, could you get these people out of our hallway, you know? Um, but I just, I'm, I'm up this morning and I wanted to just to say something. I'm going to try to keep my voice down the best as possible, but cause it's still really early in the morning and I don't want to, I want to start yelling like some of my neighbors, but, uh, you know, I, 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 I mean, I mean when I, I, well, I don't know how to really go about this. I just, I, you know, how, how would I say this? Um, People wonder, people wonder why I'm so calm, people wonder why I'm so, I'm like so, people wonder why I'm trying to be like a positive, you know, put a positive spin on something negative, people wonder like, oh, you just got kicked out of Taquanas, or oh, you just got kicked out of this, like, why are you trying to put a positive spin on it, you know, like, like you didn't, you like, you didn't just like fuck over Taquana, or you didn't just fuck over yourself, because you tried to help out Taquana and do something nice out of your heart, but... It's because I it's because I knew where my intentions were. It's because I knew where my intentions were. It's because I could see where her intentions some of her intentions and things were to the point that I'm I'm not gonna hold on to anger or hatred or anything for the situation because I know some of her intentions were in the great they were in the right place. I know my heart and my intentions were in the right place. Uh, besides some mis some miscommunication issues and not being able to really sit down and talk about some stuff, like I would have wanted to, because they 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 were mad, right? Say so say so say they were mad, and they were upset, and they were more mad and upset with me and in their feelings and emotions. Me, I I would have actually kind of sat down with our with my emotions and talked our emotions out, but. You know, people go about their emotions and their anger in different ways and stuff like that to the point that, you know, other, some people might sit down and talk about it. Other people might just bottle it up and not talk about it or not talk about what's on their mind and etc. So, um, that's kind of what had happened. So, um... But no, I I don't hold on to I don't hold on to any anger for Taquana. I don't hold any to any anger for Taquana, and people you know. And if 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 Taquana's holding on to anger, if she's trying to take stabs, or if she's trying to you know now do things in business that are going to take stabs, are going to try to kind of hurt me or et cetera, because she she'll, she'll be like oh well and try to take stabs or try to take you know things out of spite or anger, that's just going to be her karma. It's just going to be her karma because, you know, she decided to take the stabs or she decided to be angry and, and, and try to hurt me, hurt me in return. And, you know, for the fact that I kind of, I, she kind of feels like I, I, I failed her or I upset her. And, um, I feel like it could have definitely been handled differently. I feel like it definitely could have been handled differently and et cetera, but it wasn't and it, is, and it is what it is and there's no going back from it and it's going to have to go into the past and, and the only thing you can really do from it is learn from it. So, um, you know, granted, granted, I think John, John, John Noki was, you know, so semi, semi nice to me and stuff like that, but I still think he wanted he he wanted he wanted me to kind of you know support him or etc. I mean, obviously there was you know obviously I I had connections to artists and stuff too that wanted to meet me right. There were artists and stuff too that wanted to meet me and wanted to connect with me and stuff like that and, um, 
you know, leave it to John and Rana to try to kind of mooch off of that and try to make more connections out, of, more connections and stuff out of that for the gallery and stuff like that. But it's not like Rana doesn't know a bunch of, you know, didn't know a bunch of artists and stuff like, like musicians and or like artists and stuff to like, you know, for John to have at the gallery and stuff like that. But um, granted, granted, these were not just these were not my artists. I can't say they were my artists, but. Um, you know, I can't see there are my artists. I, I can't necessarily control people about, you know, who they want to associate with. I mean, that's been the biggest thing is that I, I, I wish, I wish for a certain, for different outcomes and for different, and for different things, to see different things that are within socialization that are not going to probably have me fucked over because I've had to, you know, disassociate or dis you know, distance myself from certain people in order to keep my peace and my sanity, you know, but yet there's people still trying to associate with other people and those people and etc. And it's very hard for me to disassociate and stuff like that in order to keep my peace and my peace of mind and etc. And people know that. People know that and that's exactly why they're doing it is because they want me to, they want me to like have to deal with the bullshit and deal with all their drama and shit. So they're making it very hard for me to disassociate from stuff and try to get involved with different people and etc. that I'm trying to get involved with. So they can eventually pop up and rub it back in my face to piss me off. And it's like, I'm just trying to disassociate on some stuff and trying to move, walk away in peace, you know? Disassociate, walk away in peace and do my own thing. If people can't really let me disassociate and try to walk away in peace and try to live my own life and try to go about going about my own life in peace, then there's going to definitely be some problems. This is weird, kind of where the, uh, you know, the bullying, the bullying problem comes in too where I was talking before about how I don't hate you know I don't hate black lives and I don't hate the cultural group but there are some things within you know the mental health community about socialization and etc and that's the same thing about the socialization too is you're trying to disassociate from different people and etc especially with you know with trying to you know meet new newer connections and people like that and then you can't necessarily disassociate or et cetera because, um, you know, they're, they're right there. They're right there in every fucking, and within every fucking female you try to talk to, you know, they're, they're right there. And they're, they're already, they've already friended them or they've already been barking up their tree and et cetera. So it's very hard for you to go towards a female and talk to another female and et cetera, because you, 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 you want to disassociate from, you know, that a particular person, but that particular person somehow has already kind of weaseled his way in to the point where you can't disassociate associate from him because now you're now you're having problems you know you got to disassociate from the people the females you want to talk to and the women you want to talk to and the other people you want to talk to is because he keeps trying to weasel, weasel his way in and be social and stuff and in a factor that's not necessarily supposed to be not necessarily supposed to be anything about him or at least, at least you hoped it wasn't supposed to be anything about him because it just continues on with a, a drama type of thing where you can't just you know where you're trying to disassociate from him but yet you know he keeps popping up in every fucking thing you every the fucking connection and every fucking thing you try to do and it's like you're trying to disassociate to keep the peace and keep your mind straight and stuff like that and people know that but yet people are going to try to pop up especially with every fucking female to prove a point which there was obviously some points that were supposed to be proven in this is that you know obviously somebody wanted to prove that they were the better guy or they were the hotter looking guy or etc so they could you know they could weasel their way in with every with every freaking female that i you know whatever freaking female that they think i was i wanted to talk to or etc to prove that they were a better a better man or etc than me because of uh you know a long-standing feud between you know between me and them over which happened to be over two different women and one of those women happened to be very toxic for myself and etc but yet she you know she she trauma bonded with me and some other stuff and she she probably said some things to him and set him off on this 
this little tangent about how I wasn't treating her right or etc. When it wasn't just told that that wasn't totally true or totally the case when um, you know, we trauma bonded and etc. And it was like, oh, you know, you're supposed to feel bad because you wanted to treat somebody good and you try to treat somebody good, but the situation had just become toxic and became toxic to the point that there was a whole socialization issue that you had to deal with to try to, you know, remove yourself and disassociate from. But, um, apparently I got to disassociate from almost every fucking female because this guy keeps popping up and all, and all these fucking relationships or all these fucking, you know, connections I'm trying to make with, a you know, another fucking female or another fucking connection in town. And it's like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? You know, you keep taking stabs with females and stuff because you've already made it very clear that you think you're the better man and you think I'm a creep and you gotta protect almost you gotta act like you gotta protect every every freaking girl in the world. You gotta protect you know, or you're gonna make it like you're gonna fuck every girl in the world, kinda like a little Wayne type of deal, like, oh I'm gonna fuck every girl in the world because that makes me feel like a man, you know, or et cetera, you know, or I'm gonna be like the biggest gentleman and fuck every girl in the world and it's just like what the fuck yo like what the fuck you know um you know but regardless it, you know i i trying not to hold anger towards anybody except maybe i mean that's occasionally the noki gallery does too because it's this big thing about this association you know it's just this big thing about this association whether it's whether it's with whether, you know, it's it's with some people that the cultural group knows and the cultural group's trying to get involved or whether it's it's, it's trying to, you know, go out on my own and try to talk to another female in, in, like, the building here or, you know, out in the community. It's like I have a problem because I, I have to disassociate from some people, but yet I can't go make a connection and be social because they're, they're getting involved with such and such and such and such is always right there and, uh, you know, rub things in my face and do what, you know, do do what he has to do and et cetera. And at this point, I don't believe it's a coincidence. At this point, I don't believe it's a coincidence because, you know, he was, you know, he, he, he was the last person he started associating with too. And I know, I know she fucking cheated. I know she fucking cheated on her baby's father, but was my pregnant next door neighbor. My next, I have a new next door neighbor that was pregnant and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he, he was right over there talking to her. They were probably, pro she's probably in lust or something for him, you know, cause obviously pregnant women go into lust and stuff like that before you know you know right before they have a baby they can have sex and they go into lust and etc for somebody and next thing you know they're you know they're they're having sex with somebody and etc but obviously you know i know he cheated with her and stuff like that because i i was awake most of the night and i know he didn't leave the apartment so i know pretty much that they were you know they probably were you know sleeping together or doing what they were doing but you know, it's none of my business, but it's still, you know, he's, he's taking stabs, like, trying to bother me and etc. because he probably knew that she was a pretty attractive black woman to me and etc. right? She was a pretty attractive black woman, which she was. My next-door neighbor is a pretty attractive black woman, you know? Um, but it's not like I'm going to be barking up that tree anytime soon because the first, our first, our first meeting, our first meeting of how I met my, my next-door neighbor was not good, and it kind of was, it kind of was started off on bad terms where I maybe could have just gone over there and knocked on her door and told her to maybe turn her music down but instead because of a past history with past neighbors and stuff have who have moved in there and kind of terrorized the whole floor and, and the other neighbors and myself I had just called the cops which you know now it seems like oh I'm a racist because I just called the cops on a, pl a pregnant black woman who just played her music too loud so I'm looking like a fuck an idiot you know i was looking like a fucking idiot for doing that but which i could have just gone over there and knocked on the door and figured it out and then maybe called the cops but regardless i i just i didn't know if it was gonna be another schizophrenic guy over there trying to terrorize the floor etc but regardless it's like this guy's over there fucking my pregnant next door neighbor and it's like i'm, I'm getting kind of frustrated about shit because um 
you know, it's like, I, it's out of my control. Everything's out of my control, whether the artists want to associate with who they want to associate with, you know, because obviously everybody's going to have their own career and their own choices or whether, you know, or whether, you know, these women want to associate with him and have the, you know, have the free will to associate with him or et cetera. Um, you know, I, I can't do much of anything except sit here and be like, you know, karma's kind of a bitch, but, you know, this was kind of a thing, too, with me, is that, you know, there were women that wanted to associate with me at one point in time and stuff like that, and I was kind of a jerk to a couple bunch, a bunch of different women, because I, I kind of, you know, I try to, I, I try to socialize with a bunch of different women, I was hurting, I was not in a place to date or anything, and I probably should have been more open and et cetera, about my intentions, and et cetera, but obviously, you know, there was a lot going on, and there was a lot of growth, and, uh, and you know, and, 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 and need to evolve, and grow, and stuff to be had, that I did not actually do, you know, right away, and et cetera, which caused a lot of problems, and stuff to the situation, so, um, obviously, I was being kind of a fuck boy, and I kind of, you know, had a couple of girlfriends, and saw a, saw a girlfriend for, like, a couple of months, and then broke up with her, and etc., um, all because I was hurting and stuff over a toxic relationship, and I, I wasn't giving myself the appropriate time to heal and grow and evolve and try to be, a you know, a better person from it, but, um... I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about my past mistakes and my own karma and stuff like that. But people, people are stupid. People are stupid and stuff like that. And, you know, you know, sometimes you just got to disassociate from people to keep your peace and et cetera. But I, you know, the thing is, I don't want to make it, you know, a thing where I have to disassociate from everybody, you know, I don't want to have to make it a thing where I have to disassociate and not talk and stop talking to everybody, I mean, I have a right to have some friends, I have a right to have connections, I have a right to work with who I want to work with, especially as an artist and etc., I mean, I mean, obviously, they're going to have a right to who they want to work with too, but as I said before, people are not going to want to put me in this position, or like, my, my true friends won't want to put me in a position of, say, if somebody wasn't, you know, willing to work with me or give me the benefit of a doubt as an artist or etc or really value me as an artist and etc then my friends would probably you know the people who would be like my true friends would be like well well i'm sorry carl that this guy wasn't valuing you and etc we, we won't we won't try to get involved with him or try to you know work with him or etc because you know we see we see that you know he's kind of you know, manipulated the situations for his own benefit and et cetera. So, and that, that's how, that's how I feel about the Noki gallery is that the Noki gallery kind of manipulates some stuff out of his, out of his own benefit and stuff like that. But then again, there was a lot of us that were all friends at one point, right? <laughs> A lot of us, we were all friends at one point, right? So we were all socializing and stuff. So because we were all socializing, we were all friends. A lot of us were still trying to make connections and et cetera as friends. We were all trying to make connections as friends and et cetera. But um, I'm realizing, too, that you can spend five, six years, you know, supporting somebody and trying to be their friend and et cetera. And it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really mean anything, you know? It really doesn't mean anything. It really, the efforts and time and stuff you put in really doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean a whole hell of a lot or a whole lot to the situation and etc but uh especially when you know when when they're really their their true intentions are never to really support you or never really to give back to you in a way that was going to support your art or support what you were doing as as a you know as an artist and as a entrepreneur or as a person you know that was supposed you know that wanted to find value and stuff and you know giving his time and stuff to find value in time and, and stuff in return for his own art and etc but you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like a disassociation thing. I'm trying to disassociate with people. My mom's really glad that I've already disassociated with a lot of people because she knows it's made my life a lot more peaceful and etc. Maybe lonely a little bit more, maybe a bit more lonely and etc. But then, but, the, but you know, people be like, oh, you're, you're just isolating. You're just isolating. No, I'm watching my fucking back.
I'm watching my fucking back and I'm, I'm, I'm disassociating from a lot of people because a lot of people turned out to be fake. Everybody says I'm the fake one, right? I'm the fake one. But a lot of people doing drugs, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, you know, stealing from other people, a lot of people gossiping from other people, acting like people's friends and gossiping and taking stabs and stabbing people in the back and etc. And it's just like... I'm so fucking done with the childish bullshit, you know, as I get older, it's like, I, I'd rather be on my own and by myself and disassociative to keep my own peace and to keep my own growth, to not have to worry about, you know, the, the, the drama or the bullshit that goes on because people are just assholes. People will talk about me being an asshole, which I can kind of be an asshole because I know myself, there's times where people, you know, I, I can be very much an asshole, I can be very much a, a you know, pretty much an oxymoron moron or an idiot sometimes but at the same time people people don't check their own behavior and don't check some things that make them kind of assholes or kind of them them kind of you know imperfect too so we're all imperfect beings i mean i'm I'm not perfect i don't believe you know half the people in the recovery are perfect i mean obviously they they you know if they if, if they you know if they were perfect, they wouldn't be in recovery because recovery is for people who suffer with something that makes them kind of imperfect and kind of makes them kind of, you know, like an illness or something that makes them kind of imperfect and kind of impaired. So, but you know, um, so nobody, nobody, nobody in recovery is perfect. We all, we're all there because we all have issues, but the problem is our issues clash, right? Our issues clash in the mental health recovery. You know, we, you know, if somebody has issues and you have issues and you're trying to socialize, but you know, your issues or your, your, your things that you're trying to deal with and how you're trying to grow and evolve kind of doesn't go well with how they're trying to grow and evolve and get together, then you're going to have problems about which level and stuff you guys are on compared to like, you know, which level and stuff they are on and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. And I've only, I can only say that I've, I've, I'm learning to be more disassociative to keep my own peace, you know, learning to be more disassociative to keep my own peace. But, uh, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that, you know, certain people aren't mad at me, you know, certain people aren't going to be mad at me or, you know, there's certain people out there that are mad at me for whatever reason, which is some of it I don't care because it's people I've already disassociated from but you know when it comes to like things like I said before like Taquana you know Taquana I, I know had a, I know had really good intentions for me and etc and she was trying to be really kind because she knew my situation and she 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 seemed she you know to her it seemed like I needed the job I mean I didn't necessarily need the job I, I mean I, I, I wanted to take it so she you know she so she could be less burdened and I could be more of a help to her and stuff like that, but, um, I, I, I didn't necessarily need the job, I could have, I could have used, I could have used the extra, the extra money, I didn't need the extra money, I mean, obviously, I, I get, you know, I still get, you know, funds, and still get money, whether it lasts the whole month or not, but I still, I still wanted to try to, you know, be more there for her, you know, and even the fact that, though, I didn't really need, need to be there, you know, um, I still wanted, I still wanted to be there for her, and I know she knew that, and I know she, she needed me to do that, but she, in the way she needed me wasn't really, you know, wasn't really what I could put, totally put forth in the end, and I, I'm sorry that I couldn't be the thing that she needed the most, especially for her store and her position, but, you know, so if there's any hard feelings towards me and Taquana, it's not really... It's not really intentional. I mean, it wasn't really intentional. So if she's upset with me or she's upset and she thinks she thinks kind of poorly of me now and et cetera, then she has reasons to think about it. But it wasn't like anything wasn't really intentional on my end. And that's why I'm not holding a lot of grudges or holding a lot of uh, a lot of anger and stuff like that to really, you know, have to deal with stuff like that. But, um, you know, John, on the other hand, John, John, as I said before, you know, John, John's been trying to get into this disassociative thing where it's like, you know, I'm trying to disassociate from different people from, to, to not try to put different people into my, into my artistic stuff and the artistic stuff that I've been doing. I've been trying to disassociate and stuff like that. And, you know, John's getting involved with the cultural group, but the cultural group is making it very hard for me to disassociate with people because some of the people I've tried to disassociate from were a couple, there were a couple people that were black, 
because I, you know, as I said before, in another post, I tried to, you know, reach out and, you know, reach out and try to, you know, socialize with and try to ask out on a date and try to, you know, socialize with in that way and stuff. And, you know, nobody could handle it and it turned into childish drama and etc. So a lot of people were very unhappy and stuff because, you know, nobody could handle the fact that, oh, Carl just asked me out on a date. Carl's this and Carl's not attractive. And for whatever, whatever insecurities or whatever reasons they had, people did not feel comfortable or, and it turned into a lot of drama and a lot of social dramas and stuff like that. So, um, but those particular people and et cetera, you know, especially some, you know, one of this one particular person, which I've said before, wasn't really over like the fact that I, I wanted to date them. I probably would have fucked them because they're, they're obviously, you know, they're obviously sexy, you know, they were, they were sexy to me at one point. I mean, I won't lie. I mean, they're not sexy to me anymore right now. They're more of an asshole and a moron and kind of gross because, you know, now their actions kind of show them, you know, show them in a different, you know, in a different light of how they're, they're more of an asshole asshole and kind of, you know, gross and disgusting and kind of a piece of shit, but, you know, there was, there was a point that that, that particular person and I were just fighting over women, you know, because now it's like, now it's like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having a problem fighting over a woman with you because I can't, because I, I can't necessarily, you know, I can't, I, I, I feel insecure because, you know, I, I feel insecure with you being friends with them also because I feel like you're going to be the better guy and take all the women away from me because I'm getting insecure because I'm the better man and I should be the better man and, you know, um obviously obviously things you know things with the cultural group are going to come out come out to be you know come out to play like oh you know i'm a white person i have privilege i have privilege and i have the advantage over him and you know i don't the last thing i want to do is make some of these you know social issues a hate crime you know the last thing i want to do is make some of these socialization issues a hate crime or any type of any type of like you know type of legal issue. I, I rather not make anything a legal issue, but if it has to if it has to go in down the road of legal issues, then I will I will take the steps necessarily to protect myself and etc. But um I will say that I never want I know I don't want these to turn into legal issues and I definitely don't want to be I definitely don't want it to be I never definitely I definitely have a concern that this might turn into something where people try to might try to say it's a hate crime or you know I'm I'm be I'm you know, I'm I'm hate I'm hateful or I'm racist or etc because of these these issues where you know we're having a hard time so we had a hard time socializing because once once on my my end there might have been a, a form of try to you know a form of respect or something that wasn't you know appropriately seen the right way or etc so now we're having disassociation you know disassociation issues because i had to dis you know dissocialize and you know it, it's turning into like the factor that i can't dissocialize with you know the situ from the situation now because you know, so, you know the so certain social situations have gone wrong and everybody wants to jump in and be what they want to be you know so um it's a big thing about this this social this disassociating with people and trying to trying to be social but trying to disassociate from other people. That's kind of where I'm at, you know. And it, it's and I don't I don't think it's a coincidence and I don't think I don't think it's very ironic that, you know, that I I keep running into issues, especially you know, the, especially with my next door neighbor. That that was not a coincidence, you know. That I get I get a next door neighbor who hasn't even been moved into moved in a month moved in a month or two, and the next thing you know, it's like that guy's right there, you know, pretty much flirting with her and trying to be her friend and probably even fucking her at that point, you know, which I can't do nothing about. But it's still like that's that's just not a coincidence. That that's him trying to really you know insert you know. Insert insert male black dominance and say, oh, I'm a black man and I'm going to get this black woman and, you know, et cetera, to the point that it's like, you know, it's a bullying problem. It's, it's basically what it is. It's bullying. It's, it, it's very, it's bullying. It's very, you know, it's very much kind of like a thing that's stemming from his own insecurities with women because he has insecurities with women. I, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt that something was said or something was said to him from, from this, this was this woman that I was talking to that was supposed to be a family friend and etc. that went and flipped the script and tried to twist things and etc. and stuff like that. That um I wouldn't doubt that she um 
that, you know, she said something to him and it really triggered some insecurities or some things about, you know, some things that hurt feelings about me or about his, you know, his traumas or et cetera that set him off on this path. Like, oh, I got to be the better man. I got to be this and that to go, you know, fuck over Carl with every fucking woman, you know, or every fucking friend he tries to make, you know, um, granted they try to do the nice guy act like they try to act like a nice guy and etc but um they do have their issues and stuff and they're they're definitely not perfect they can act perfect all they want to or act like you know they're gonna be the better person but nobody's fucking perfect we all have our fucking issues i mean it doesn't mean we have to put up and put up with stuff or deal with you know certain issues or certain people and stuff like that if we don't want to but um, it's very hard to really not do that in my case because it's turned into like a problem where I'm trying to disassociate from certain people and things and, and people are, you know, people are, you know, people are trying to socialize and try to get right involved in those same exact things or et cetera, which people know it's, you know, it's going to piss me off, but people are going to do it anyways because people, people think it's, people think it's a game. People think it's a game and think it's funny. And at one point in time, this is at one point in time, it's had, it's had my whole, my whole career, my whole career type thing in there, my whole, my whole artistry in there where, you know, it, it kind of would have, it kind of would have affected my artistry but some of the stuff that has already affected my artistry for other reasons and other situations you know and it, it, it's like i can't you know i was told too you can't stop people from going to public places you can't stop people from going to public places and etc so if people want to go to public places and etc you can't stop them from going to public places and etc um but, you know, it's like, I want to protect my peace. I want to protect my peace. I want to protect what I'm working on as an artist. I wanted to protect what I wanted to work on as an artist. I mean, I, I won't be able to sit there and say and protect the Quana if there's somebody who wants to intentionally go over there now and try to create a socialization issue with Taquana because of, you know, knowing the situation of what I've just said about Taquana and this whole situation. I don't, I can't, you know, I can't protect Taquana from a situation if somebody wants to go over there and kind of create this social issue or create another social issue, basically using her or her store. You know, I can't necessarily stop that. I can't necessarily stop people from doing that with the Noki Gallery either, you know. But then again, there were there were a couple of people who have already kind of interacted with the Noki Gallery and stuff like that, where um, I, I, you know, I, I tried to, you know, make, you know, he handle it the best way I could, but I definitely could have probably could have handled it a little better, could have handled the situation a little better, but. Um, regardless, I, I, I kind of had to go find a way to disassociate in the end. I had to find a way to disassociate and not try to get involved with such and such because I'm trying to keep my own peace and try to not bring up the past or not bring up past issues and things that I think are going to be more harmful to everybody and so everybody's benefit and safety and etc. because the past kind of wants to come pop up and knock on my door and knock on the door of everybody else and it's like... I, I rather let certain things, you know, be dis disassociated from and try to keep my peace and my peace of mind by, you know, doing some other things with my life instead of worrying about the past and past situations. I mean, if people really wanted to talk to me and stuff, they, they, they don't, they don't need to come to the arts to create such a problem and et cetera. I mean, they, they, they can find, you know, they could, they could, they have a way of maybe being able to try to find me or et cetera, or trying to find a way to reach out and try to just tell me how they feel. But why would I, in some cases, why would I care? I mean, why would they care? You know, it's like, why, why should they care? Why does anyone care? I mean, for the most part, I don't think people care, but you know, for those, for those, you know, individuals that probably still do or et cetera, um, you know, like, you know, like that guy that keeps bullying me, trying to bully me and trying to bull, you know, bullshit me over women and make a big social issue out of it. Um, you know, it gets, it's getting kind of fuckery. It's getting very much fuckery and et cetera. Um, 
I can't do much of anything except, you know, kind of deal with it because everybody's, you know, it's, it's kind of a war on rights, too, that everybody has, a, has, has rights to do what they need to do and see who they want to see. But it's kind of the war on the rights and the war on consent. Like, every, you know, people are going to try to, you know, try to friend people and they're, they're going to try to consent and try to do what they want to do to socialize and et cetera. When, you know, I, I've, I, you know, I've had to disassociate and stuff like that from a lot of people because, um, I, I've tried to, you know, talk to people and try to, you know, have a, you know, relationship where we, you know, we once consented and we once talked to, we once started talking to each other and stuff like that. But then I've had to break it off because there, there comes such and such, or there comes such and such there. And I've had to like disassociate just, to, just to keep my peace and keep my own, my own standards because, as I said before, if you knew such and such was, you know, doing, you know, was, was obviously not good for the situation or not good to me or my situation or et cetera, why would you get me into that situation? Why would you put me in that situation? Why would you put them or me, me in my, in that situation where we, you know, where we, we, we end up in this position where there's going to be a problem. And it's like, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't really want to do that. I want to just move on with my life and keep my peace and do what I have to do. But, with, with whether it's art whether it's with the artist or whether it's with the socialization with the you know mental health recovery you know which some people you know some people did not die out for some people are still trying to prove something to themselves or take stabs or etc that um you know it, it's a bunch of bullshit it's a bunch of bullshit on on how People say, oh, you know, we got free will, we can consent to this, this, and this, and yet, you know, everybody's fucking over everybody, and nobody gives a fucking shit, so, um, that's just why I don't associate with too many people, because nobody really does give a fucking shit, and everybody's like... You know, of course, a black man's a black man. You know, we we there's we all know the stereotype of a black man that he has like a twelve inch, you know, woohoo, and he's like, and then he's like, you know, black men have twelve inch woohoos, and you know, the next thing you know, every everybody wants to sleep with the black man and stuff like that. We we we've all seen we've all seen the 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 you know the racist the racist stereotypes of uh, the racist stereotypes of um you know, history, where it's supposed to say the black men have bigger, you know, you know, what's and stuff like that, and, you know, they're, they're, you know, I don't know, you know, and it's like, you know, and then, then they get stereotyped for being the sexier one, or the one that can get people off better, because they have bigger, you know, whatevers, but, um, I've learned that, you know, white guys have bigger, you know, you know, bigger, you know, woohoos too, so, um, and then it's like, you know, then, then people, you know, and I, I think, I don't think, you know, so, you know, and I, I, I don't care what race you are, what situation you are. It all depends. It all depends on, um, it just all depends on, on the way your, your, your growth is apparently that, you know, some, some, some white guys are bigger, some, some black guys are bigger. It doesn't, you know, or some, you know, some, you know, but the, the, the size doesn't depend on just necessarily one race alone. So we can't stereotype, you know, this black man because he's a black man and he, you know, he's, you know, such and such and everybody wants his, you know, you know what, but, you know, it's, it's like, oh, okay, you know, but, <laughs> Regardless, regardless, it's like, okay, you know, but it's a disassociation problem. It's been a disassociation problem, but the point being is that, you know, if certain people are mad, I mean, certain people have probably are going to be mad because I'm, I'm, I'm showing the fact that I'm mad now at certain people, and I think certain people are going to be mad for it, but... Um, when it comes to like to Quana and stuff, I mean, I don't want her to be mad at me and stuff. I want her to just know that I, I understand that she tried her best to give me something that she, you know, out, out of her, out of her situation where she needed something or she needed something in return that was supposed to be really important to her and her situation that she tried to give me a level of trust and she tried to give me a level of respect and stuff because she knew my situations, knew, knew some of what I needed and stuff like that, that, she tried to help me out and give me that respect and that level of trust. And I know because things were broken and stuff like that, she feels kind of mad and et cetera. Or she might feel mad and et cetera. So I, I can't control her for being mad. Or I can't control her for saying the negative. But and on my, once again, on my end, it's it's all 
it's all good. It's all good, and I'm just going to say it, it was what it was, and I'm going to look at it from a standpoint of all it being love, but... Uh, you know, all, all, you know, just not, not like, not, not, not the situation with her being love, but, you know, just, you know, my feelings just being like, okay, you know, I love the situation, you know, I, or I, I had loved the situation that, you know, there were certain things about it that I really loved and liked that I'm going to really miss out on and et cetera. But, um, I don't know, you know, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say. I think that's it at this point. I think that's it at this point that, you know, they're, they're trying to dissocialize from people, from trying to keep your own peace and et cetera. But people try to still take stabs and et cetera. And I, I, I really just, I don't know. I, I almost want to like start over a new, new mental health recovery, new location, new everything. I just would like to start over and start, you know, start again somewhere new where I can have a new, you know, a fresh start for dating and stuff like that and not have to worry about, you know, about certain shit and etc. But, you know. Anyways. I'm going to get offline. I got to take my reflux medications. It's like 3 in the morning. But I'm going to take my reflux medications. And I'm going to take them early. And, you know, I may actually crawl back into bed. But I just wanted to get that off my chest. But, um... Just protect your peace. Protect your peace. Protect it from, you know, protect the peace. Protect your peace of mind. Protect the things that matter. But, you know, obviously, you know, you, you can't you can't help what's out of, out of your control and stuff like that. And you can only hope that people, people will understand what, what is, you know, what matters to you and et cetera. That people won't put you in a fucked up position. But some people just don't forgive a fuck. Some people are just in it for their own careers or their own life or, you know, their own benefit and et cetera. And that's how life has been for the last several years when I'm dealing, when I'm dealing with different people and et cetera. So I wouldn't be surprised if it still happened. So, you know, it happened with my family too, you know. My family was in for stuff for their own benefit and stuff like that, and they were too busy screwing me over or feeling like they were helping me, but they were really screwing me over and et cetera that I didn't want to associate with them. So, anyways, I'm getting offline. Peace.